Oh, hello. I'm Curious Keeper, and I have a dilemma. I love science experiments. I do them all the time. And my favorite warehouse, Stanley's Super Science Stuff Store, is having a sale. But it ends in an hour, and all the roads to get there are closed. If only I had a jetpack. We could fly ourselves there and get all the knickknacks and gadgets and solutions we could ever want. You in? Great. Here's what you'll need. One cereal box. Two one liter plastic bottles. Two paper cups. A roll of tin foil. String. Yellow, red, and orange construction paper. Tape scissors, a pencil and paper, coloring supplies, I recommend markers, and stickers, ribbon, and pom-poms. These are optional. If you need more time to gather your materials, press pause now. All right, there's no time to lose. Grab your cereal box. Cut it along the edge so that it is now a flat piece of cardboard. Cut off the excess pieces so you just have a rectangle. This will be the base for your jetpack. Next, get your two cups. Poke a hole in the bottom with your scissors. Careful here. You can always ask a grown-up for help. And cut out the bottom of the cups. Do this for both of them. You may be familiar with jetpacks from movies and TV, but they still can't be bought in a store, even though they were in development almost 70 years ago. This is why today we're making our very own. Press pause if you need more time. Now it's tinfoil time. Grab your two bottles, your cardboard, and your paper cups. These are all the components of your jetpack. We will need to cover all of them in tinfoil. Let's start with the bottles. Roll them in tinfoil. Fix it in place using your tape. When it comes to the actual mechanics of jetpacks, there have been some snags. They need to create all the lift with pure thrust, so a lot of fuel is needed, but the packs only hold enough for about 30 seconds. The more fuel you add, the heavier the jetpack will be. Also, putting a jet engine on your back is not super safe, and the sound emitted by the engine is very loud. But we won't have to worry about any of that with ours. and cut out some extra tin foil to cover the bottom. Repeat this step for the other bottle. Now, Let's cover our cups in tin foil. Make sure you cover it inside and out. Finally, cover the cardboard in tin foil. Wrap it up and hold it in place using tape. Press pause if you need more time. Hoo boy! 
Now we can assemble our jetpacks. First, we will attach the cups to the bottles using tape. Cut a few pieces of tape and put them aside. Then, hold your cup over the spout of the bottle and hold it in place using the tape. Repeat this step for the other bottle. Cut a few more pieces of tape and loop them around like this. Stick those loops onto the cardboard and then place your bottles on top. Add more tape to hold everything in place. Take your string and measure out a long piece. These will be the straps of the jetpack. Cut it, then fold that piece in half. If you know how to tie a knot, tie a knot on each end. If you don't, don't worry. Just tape each end directly to your jetpack. Let's do this step again for the other side. Press pause if you need more time. Before we can blast off, we gotta make it super. It's time to let your creativity run wild. Using your red, yellow, and orange construction paper, you can cut out some shapes that look like flames or strips and stick them to the inside of the cups so that your jetpack looks alive. Next, maybe you want to create a mission badge for your jetpack. Using your pencil and paper, create a badge that represents what this mission is all about. I'm heading to the science store, 
but maybe you want to go on your own spectacular journey anywhere in the world. What else could you add to your jetpack? Pom-poms? Ribbon? Stickers? Add any materials you like to really make it your own. Press pause if you need more time. Woohoo! And with all that, we are ready to blast off. I can't wait to get all the super science experiment supplies, and then we can keep creating all these awesome things together. Where will you fly off to? Once you've completed your jetpack, take a picture of it and send it into hello at supernow.com. Thank you so much for all of your help. I'll see you next time. Three, two, one, blast off!